So from what I'm told, Liverpool are preparing an opening verbal bid to test water for this situation of Darwin Nunez. It could be a proposal around 80 million with some add-ons, so they are preparing an opening bid, a verbal bid, to understand what's the point of view on Benfica's side for this Darwin Nunez deal. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to discuss together about transfers, all the latest, the updates on the transfer market. We had the breaking news yesterday of Aurelien Chouameni joining Real Madrid, Luka Modric extending his contract with Real Madrid for one more season. Today, let's discuss about strikers like Darwin Nunez, Sadio Mane and Gabriel Jesus. What's happening for these three players? What's the real situation? So let's jump into it together. And so guys, many things are going to happen this summer for the strikers. We are still waiting, for example, to understand what's next for Robert Lewandowski. We know that he wants to leave Bayern, it's been pretty clear in his public and private statements, waiting for Barcelona to reach an agreement with Bayern. So for Lewandowski, we need to wait a bit, but the decision on player side is still the same. He wants Barcelona move. And on Bayern uh, side, we have to see what they will decide because they are working on a deal for Sadio Mane. They made an official proposal a few days ago. They are working in the negotiations with Liverpool and they want to be fast, as I told you a few days ago, because they know, they feel that many other clubs could jump into this opportunity to sign Sadio Mane this summer. The player wants to leave. I told you days ago that the decision has been made immediately after the Champions League final. Mane wants to leave. Liverpool this summer, he doesn't want to wait for one more year, and his priority is to join Bayern. So, from what I'm told, even into the dressing room, they know that Sadio Mane priority is to join Bayern this summer. So, personal terms are not an issue between Mane and Bayern, but now the discussion is between Bayern and Liverpool to find an agreement. The opening big has not been accepted. Liverpool uh, have no intention to accept this kind of proposals, 25, 30 million euros with add-ons included. They want guaranteed money and they want way more than this. They want around 40, 45 million, but not 25 with some add-ons. So this is why the negotiation is ongoing and it will continue, I'm told, in the coming days. So it's not over between Liverpool and Bayern because Bayern won the player and Mane is giving priority to Bayern. So let's see if the German club will be able to complete this negotiation in the coming days. Let's remind that the agents of Mane are the same agents of Konrad Leimer, midfielder that is in Bayern list since long time. He's playing for Leipzig, he's out of contract next year and Bayern won't Leipzig even if they will sign, as we know, Ryan Gravenberg, it's already a done deal. Discussing of strikers, Darwin Nunez, guys, this boy did an incredible season with uh, Benfica, scoring a lot of goals, scoring in the Champions League too. So, from what I'm told, Liverpool are preparing an opening verbal bid to test water for this situation of Darwin Nunez. It could be a proposal around 80 million with some add-ons, so they are preparing an opening bid, a verbal bid, to understand what's the point of view on Benfica side for this Darwin Nunez deal. They want to do something serious for Darwin Nunez, but at the same point they don't want to go into any bidding war with other clubs. We know that Manchester United are also working on Darwin Nunez, they had contacts with his agents, he's a player they discussed internally with Eric Ten Hag, so Liverpool are preparing an opening bid, but at the same point Manchester United are still interested in Darwin Nunez. He's an opening situation and so for Darwin we need to wait a bit but for sure it will be a name on the market this summer and Liverpool will look to replace Sadio Mane as he will leave the club this summer. And then Gabriel Jesus. Remember the name guys because we had many rumors in the last few days about Real Madrid and I'm told that it's true that Real Madrid had some contacts with his agent but it was weeks ago, not now and it's not something advanced. It's something that they had like conversations, they appreciate the player that is not something advanced between Man City and Real Madrid or between Gabriel Jesus and Real Madrid. The feeling around sources is that Gabriel Jesus will play in the Premier League next season. He will leave Manchester City, the decision has been made, he's ready to go this summer. Manchester City won around 50-55 million euros for Gabriel, but now the race is open. Arsenal are interested in him since a long time, he's a priority target for Arsenal, but not the only club, he's still an open deal, Premier League clubs are into it, and so Gabriel Jesus will leave Manchester City, but will be a big opportunity on the market for Premier League clubs with Arsenal pushing and pushing with the Brazilian director Edu, who has a good connection with Gabriel, hoping to reach an agreement, but it's still an open situation.
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on these striker moves. We said about Darwin, we said about Gabriel Jesus, about Mane. I wait for your comments, guys. Here, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel. Many things are happening on the market. Turn on the notification bell so you're not gonna miss any single video and like this video. See you soon with Fabrizio Romero. Ciao!